Ken told me to stop the horror show. Why don't you put something romantic, something like strawberry? Stop with this potatoes. Okay. Where's the strawberry? And the mushroom. How about mushroom? Who wants to paint the mushrooms? I don't know. Write, write me in the comments if you want the mushrooms. For now, we'll go with the strawberry. Little fruit. Berry. Deserves a little paper. Special paper for the berries. Uh, canson. How many grams? 300 grams again. So, let's see what kind of color we are putting here, here, must be much darker in here the shadow part yes that dark maybe a little bit more uh -huh. I left these stripes to fill in between, to leave these uh, little white spaces for later, for the, for the parts where the strawberry shines. Sorry, it's too blue. Oh, not this. Now I would say let's wait for it to dry on almost completely to proceed to the next stage. So um, it's it's dry now, and uh, I would say we will proceed by placing these little seeds on it, these little yellow seeds. And for that, I'm mixing yellow with a little bit of golden and a little bit of brown. Then I'm testing it here on my palette. Maybe I need more yellow. Like this. Because just like you, actually, <laughs> I don't know what am I doing here. Because how often do I paint a strawberry in aquarelle? Never. It's my first time. So, bismillah. putting it beside the white spot and we'll see what's gonna happen will it look real after all or not in the darkest part of the strawberry I mix in more brown 
do with a little bit of golden. Here, added some yellow and uh, while I'm waiting for these yellow spots to dry I would work a little bit on a green part of it adding some light in here like this and maybe while we're waiting, I will add some color to the shadow of oh, that's too blue. I will kill it with a bit of brown, a oh, bit more. This now a bit more brown, a bit more water. Mm -hmm. Um, under these leaves, like there is a very dark part of the leaves, and while this area is dry, I will just put some few touches to separate leaf from the strawberry. Is it a strawberry or another berry? It's a strawberry, yeah. yeah. I don't know the English name of the, all those berries. Ah, drama, drama. I may lighten this part a little bit by washing away this watery brush. I put it in the water and then I squeeze the water out of it and that becomes a rubber, kind of a eraser. Here I'm erasing between the seeds because that's where the flesh of a berry pops up and the areas that pops pop up on the object, they always catch more light than the areas that are inside. Depth is always dark. It's like, it's just because you don't get much light hitting the deep parts, but parts that pop up, they, they get more attention from, from light. Here. and it makes me want to darken this area on my picture I'll find the proper color for it more red more red not so blue maybe like this here Here, I'm trying to avoid the areas around the seeds. Uh, 
and here just very close to the seeds I put these dark touches. You have a luxury of having a thinner brush in the house, you can use the thinner brush. But I am I'm a lazy woman. I may have a thinner brush somewhere in the cupboard, but who wants to stand up and go looking for it? Now these white areas here in the darker part of, of uh, strawberry is too white. I will I will cover them a little bit with existing paint. I don't get more paint on my, my brush. I don't load it. I just uh, use whatever paint lies around it. I just use it to create this color. And yeah, I think it's enough. Let's don't go too crazy with the strawberry, right? Maybe, 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 maybe it worth adding a bit darker shadow under it. A bit more darker. Mm -hmm. And that's it. I hope you found it useful. Write me in the comments. Kisses.